On November 12, 2001, American Airlines Flight 587 crashes with 260 passengers inside it. This airplane took off from JFK Airport, and since the incident was one month after September 11, 2001, everybody thought that this was another attack. Even the US government thought this. Not only did all 260 passengers in this airplane die, but since it landed in a neighborhood, it killed five people in the landing site. The landing site is the part of New York City called Queens, and it's very close to Manhattan, where the September 11 attacks happened. This plane was completely destroyed and nobody was alive. And that is why rumors spread about this thing being another attack. Experts started to research on this crash to see what exactly happened and make sure it was not an attack. And they concluded that this was an accident. But how do they know this was an accident? With the help of a little device called the black box. As you can see, this is the black box, and it looks like everything but a black box. A black box is basically two orange machines, and the reason that it's orange, so it could be easily seen in a crash site. So why did they call this orange machine a black box? The reason is, back in the day, any device that recorded anything was called a black box. And since this orange device recorded a lot of things in an airplane, it was also called a black box. Black box has its own history. When in the 1950s, passenger aircrafts was booming, there were a lot of flights going around the world. And alongside that, there were a lot of crashes as well. And this is when in Britain, they had an idea and a lot of airlines actually accepted it. They suggested to make a device that could record everything on an airplane, make it extremely safe that if it catches on fire or gets compacted very heavily, it would survive. And this is in a case, if a plane crashes, we can recover this box and see what exactly took place. Until the 1990s, black boxes look like this. And it was basically a heavily modified tape recorder. But from the 90s on forward, they put computer chips in it to save the memory on file rather than tapes. In a black box, there are two different components. The first one is the cockpit voice recorder. And the other one is the flight data recorder. And this records data like temperature, speed, altitude, and trajectory for the last 25 hours. The voice recorder that's in the cockpit records the last two hours, and every two hours, it deletes itself and re-record. So if there's an accident, they have proof of the last two hours. Just like we said, Flight 587 hit a residential area in Queens, New York. So how do they realize with the help of a black box what took place? The cockpit recording showed us that the pilot was saying the plane is very shaky. This is when the plane was just taking off. This is when the shaking gets very violent and the electricity goes out. At this moment, the pilot and co-pilot start to panic and they start to yell at each other to what to do and they don't know what's going on. And then it crashes. This was the information we got from the cockpit voice recorder. And there was no more info from that. So it didn't really tell us what actually happened to the plane. That is why the flight data recorder is useful in a situation like this. The flight data showed the experts that the person at fault was the co-pilot in that situation. Why? Because when the electricity goes out in the plane, they could still control the plane and land it safely. But the co-pilot starts to panic and keeps moving the rear wing back and forth. And when you violently move the rear wing, it will break off. And when the rear wing blew off, the plane goes down nose first. And you basically can't do anything about it. So where do they put the black box in an airplane? They tried to find the safest place in an airplane to put the black box in. And the safest place 
is in the rear of the plane, exactly right here. The body of this machine is made from very strong steel and the chips are inside the cylinder, very deep into the steel. And with this, it's very protective, but there is a chance that it could get destroyed, especially when there is a heavy fire, but it's very rare for the fire to destroy it because it's extremely thermal. Even when it's burned like this, they could still read it. What happens if an airplane crashes in the water? Will the black box just sink into the ocean and no one will ever find it? They also thought about this. There is a sensor up front in a black box and if it falls into water, it activates itself and sends underwater signal which makes the finding process a lot easier, which makes the searching process much easier. If you've seen our video about Flight 370 Malaysian Airline, you'll know that this airplane ceased to exist. Not in the ocean, not in the land, not anywhere. There was nothing left of this airplane or the passengers in this world. In the whole area they thought the plane landed, they searched for the black box. They looked in the oceans and lands everywhere, and they only had one month. Night and day, they were searching all over the place, but unfortunately, they had no luck finding it. Nobody knows why this airplane disappeared, the black box disappeared, and a lot of other whys. After the disappearance of Flight 370, a lot of people suggested, why do we even have a black box on board on the airplane? With today's technology, we could put someone on the ground to record everything that's happening in every airplane. And if anything happened, we know exactly what took place. But there needs to be rules set, and there is no rules yet. Some people say if you record from the ground, there could be some bad people that know how to disable the reader on the airplane. And then we have no signal to know what happened. They say at least the black box cannot be tampered with while the plane is flying and it's in a very protected area. Another weird thing about black boxes is that not everybody can read it except the countries that manufacture airplanes. All the information is in special coding and it's not just like a CD you can put in a DVD player and watch it. And they're the only ones that could do it. 